Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tutorial Guide. In this video, now I am going to show you how to install Cyanogen Mode 14.1 Custom ROM, which is based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. So, here before installing this Custom ROM, we need some of the pre requirements. First of all, you must have TWRP recovery installed on your device, and second one, you must have to download the Cyanogen Mode 14.1 .zip file. I have provided this following files under the description of this video, so you can easily download from this description section so then after you need to have uh, open gfs first of all we need sanajan 14.1 zip open gfs dot pico version variants and then twp recovery install and one thing you must have you must have on stock lollipop version to upgrade your device to sanajan mode 14.1 because we need a stock android lollipop to upgrade before installing Cyanogen 14 point you must on stock android so then after what you have to do we are going to boot our device into recovery mode so first of all what you have to do just power off your device and, and then until the herding vibration sound that means it would be completely powered off our device so we have to wait until to herding of come vibration sound so here now the device has been completely powered off right now so just press volume up or volume up down keys to boot your device into recovery if you don't know how to install twrp recovery on your device means under the description of this video you will find a video link to install twrp on your lenovo 6000 or a6000 plus so just go to recovery section if you have installed the recovery means you will find this recovery twrp recovery otherwise you can't if you want to get this recovery just please check out the description video on how to install twrp so before installing any custom rom on our div on you know six sense on other device you, you must have to take a complete backup to protect our exiting data which is available on stock roms so just go to backup and check everything and you have to back it up in your external storage so this backup would be known as android backup so just select say, select storage and uh, micro sd and you have to download and keep all your rom and uh, gfs in your external storage as well so just select swipe to backup you can easily restore from using the restore section so then after what you have to do you need to wipe your device so because that means we are erasing system and everything just go to wipe advanced wipe selvik, um, select delvic cache system cache and data and select swipe to wipe so uncheck the internal and external storage because we have otherwise if you check this internal external storage the data should be erased that means your rom would be erased so you don't have to check the internal and external storage then after go to install section and find out the Cyanogen mode 14.0 zip file and I it, it would be having in my external storage so you can easily find using select to storage and just select the Cyanogen mode 14.1 zip file and just select swipe to confirm flash so this flashing process would take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete out this so your device must be charged up to 50 to 70 percent to complete out to flash to continue this flashing process during this flashing process if your device doesn't have enough battery means you may get some of the troubles like boot load so please charge up to 70 50 to 70 percent so then after we have to flash the open gf pico versions so just go to install and find out your open version open gfs.zip file and just select swipe to confirm flash now it would be flash the open gf if you need any google play services that means google services on your uh, custom ROM means you have to flash this gf so as i am recommend to everyone to download open gf.pico variant because it would having a teeny package so it won't um, provide any kinds of issues on custom roms if you have installed a mini or micro means it would getting some kinds of issues that means four stops on our roms so then after the GS process has been completed, so just select reboot system. So we have successfully completed the Cyanogen Mode 14.1.zip flashing and the open GS flashing process. That means we have successfully flashed the Android Nougat. So here it would be showing Android, um, sorry, Cyanogen Mode boot logo. So this booting process would only take 5 to 10 minutes to complete. So you don't have to disturb your device. That means uh, removing battery as something else in minds it would take 15 minutes to complete the first booting process you have to be patient because it would getting the large amount of internal files 
background so that's why it would be taking a long so here you can find the cyanogen mode setup wizard so just select next next and uh, escape any away and provide the next next to complete the setup wizard so this rom is completely stable you can use this as daily travel so i have checked this would be the best custom rom and uh, doesn't have any kinds of bug so here you can find it would be working um, what are all the things that would be working on these ROM means um, LTE would be have some GeoSIM user those who want to use GeoSIM on the device means you can easily pick this ROM because it would having the stable and LTE support as well so sign um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and the dual SIM and everything would be working flawlessly so as I recommend to use this Cyanogen 14.1 if you need a latest standard experience on your Lenovo 6005. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. If you have any kinds of doubt regarding this, in, regarding this installation, please fulfill under the comment section of this video. I will respond as much as possible. Bye bye. We will see you in the next video. So please don't forget to share with your friends because they were upgrade their Lenovo 6000 plus to latest Android 7.1.1. Bye bye. We will see you in the next video.